Hello and welcome to Textbook Engineering Problem. We're working out of Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes 3rd Edition. We're doing problem number 2.30. Uh, the problem says sketch the plots described below and calculate the equations for y of x from the given information if possible. The plots are all straight lines. Note that the given coordinates refer to abscissa and ordinance values, not x and y values. The solution of part A is given as an example. Okay, so we'll work through part A here that they've given to us. They say a plot of the natural log of y versus x on rectangular coordinates passes through passes through these two points. Point one equals, we'll just say point one equals 1.0, 0 0.693, and 0 0.2 is 2, 0.0. So this is our, we'll say this is our y value, and this is our x value. Um, so our function should look like a line saying y equals m x plus b. This is our x1 value, and this is our y1 value, and this is our x2 value y2 value. That will help us, that's what they mean by saying, when they say, note that the given coordinates refer to abscissa and ordinate values, not x and y values. Um, and so therefore, our function actually looks like this. Therefore, y equals Oh, and in, and in their problem, in their example, they show that um, m is equal to a. It's a little confusing, sorry. They have that m is equal to m is equal to b in their problem, and um, b in, in my problem is equal to um, the natural log of a. So if b is the natural log of a, then y equals e m equals b. So b up here. Not to be confused with this b up here. We're saying we're saying m equals b, this b, the b from their example, um, equals this one. And then and then this b, which is this b, equals um, the natural log of a therefore a because e to the b equals e to the natural log of a e to the natural log of a equals a so that's how that works so then we have to calculate what a and b are from the two points that they gave to us um, that's easily done let's say let's work with their equation since that will you guys can follow along a little better. Y equals BX plus the natural log of A. We're filling in and we say um, 0 0.693 equals B and X is 1 plus A, LN A. Okay, so now we do our other one so it's zero equals two b plus the natural log of a so now we have two equations two unknowns this creates a complete set and we should be able to define what b and the natural log of a are so you can just set up a, 
a matrix. You can say B and ln A, equation 1, equation 2. So B is 1, ln A is 1, and B is 2, ln A is 1. And then our answer variable is... 0 0.693 and 0. And then if you do the linear algebra for this, by saying this is our, this is our A matrix, this is our B matrix. I'm using B too much, sorry. This is just, this B is totally different from all the rest of the Bs. It's just the common notation that you use in this. You say AX equals B, therefore X equals A inverse B. And um, you can do this on like a graphing calculator or you could just use substitution. Yeah, it's just, if you're familiar with linear algebra, this is a tool that you can use to solve, um, to solve systems of equations, or you can do the, 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 the old way. I'm sure that you've seen this before, um, where you just substitute in values um, using the two equations. It's just the system of equations. This is one way to solve it. But normally, you say x equals a inverse b, and then we put that in our calculator. Therefore, x equals minus 0.693 and 1.386 B, that's this B, equals minus 0 0.693 and ln A equals 1.386. Therefore, A is equal to and that is what they got in their problem. Um, so y equals a, which is 4.00, and e equals minus 0 0.9693 hex. Okay, so that's how you do part a. That's given. Um, we worked through the problem to show what it looks like. So now let's do part B, and we'll do it the exact same way. We'll just go a little bit faster this time around. Um, the log of Y equals AX plus the log of B. Okay, so a logarithmic X means, just means that it's the log, not the natural log of Y, natural log of Y, at, um, a normal x-axis, just a, a unit, and uh, we'll make this a log b because we've got a log over here and we want the log to kind of cancel out and just give us b in the end, kind of how we did in the first problem. I'll get rid of all that old notation I was showing you. Um, but this still kind of follows the same pattern of this is our y, this is our m and x plus b. So equation of a line, this is just a constant. So I could say, instead of saying B here, I could say, I could say uh, C, just so it's less ambiguous, but Y equals MX plus B, Y equals, uh, natural log Y equals AX plus log of B, it's, it's all the same, it's just an equation for a line. Okay, um, and they give us the points um, P1, equals 1 comma 2 and p2 equals 2 comma 1. Okay, this equation um, to get rid of the logs we say y equals 10 to the ax times 10 to the b which is just b. Okay, so now let's calculate what a and B equal. A equals the log of two 
we'll calculate the slope here. Log of 1, so y1 minus y2, or sorry, y2 minus y1 over x2, which is 1 minus x1, or x2. I'm getting all those mixed up. The equation for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and these are from our points that we're using. That's what I'm doing. And this equals minus 0 0.30103. We'll shorten that later. Log B equals the equation for the intercept is x2, y1 minus y2, x1 over x2 minus x1 2 log 2 minus log 1 times 1 over 2 minus 1 equals 0 0.60206 Okay, so therefore, B is equal to 10 raised to that power, which is 10 raised to the log of 4, which equals 4. And now we have that Y equals we had y equals 10 raised to the a, which is minus 0.301x, and then times b, which is 4. Okay. Let's do part c. y versus x passes through these points. Okay, so if it's a log plot, that means both x and y are logs. So we just have logs all around. Log y equals a times log x plus, we'll just call this log b as well. I have, I'll do it, y equals a x plus b. We have Y. I'm trying to do this in different ways so that you guys can see several, several different methods for solving these problems. Um, here, I'll make that into a big B so that we can tell the difference. Log little b. Okay, therefore y equals little b, x, and little a. Because we take the log of both sides of this equation, and that gives us y equals, um, whenever you have the log, let's say this term equals log, x, when you take the log of something like this, this, this thing you have multiplied out front can be moved to be an exponent. That's true for a log, for a natural log, or for, for anything that's a log, you can do that. So, so this equals log of x to the a. Okay, and then when we raise this to the, to the power of 10, then that becomes x to the a. It just cancels out the log. Okay. Need to figure out what y one the log of two and y two equals the log of one x one equals the log of one x two 
equals the log of 2. That means our slope, m, equals a, which equals negative 1, b equals 2. Just using these same, these same formulas up from up here that we did before. B equals 0 0.301. Y equals 2x minus 1, 2 over x. That's it for part C. Let's do part D. We'll just do it the same way as before. Our function now is the log of xy. The problem statement says a semi-log plot of xy, logarithmic axis, versus y over x. It passes through 1, 40.2, and 2, 807.0. A y over x plus b. Okay, so x equals y over x y equals log of xy y1 equals 40.2, y2 equals 807.0, x1 equals 1, x2 equals 2. We use those same functions from before, our slope and our intercept, and we calculate that m equals a 766.8 and b which is our intercept equals minus 726.6 log x, y equals 766.8 times y over x minus 726.6 log y squared x equals a log x minus 2 plus b. So y equals log y squared over x, x equals log x minus 2, say y1 is 40.2, y2 is 807.0, x1 is 1, and x2 is 2. Both sides to the, to the 10 power, so we have y squared over x equals x minus 2, the a power times 10 to the b. Okay. And if we just want to get y on its own, then we say y equals, or we say y squared equals, um, we'll say 10b. 10 to the b equals little b. Okay, so now we have little b 
times x, x minus 2 to the a, and then we can take the square root of this um, and say y equals the square root of bx, x minus 2, a. Okay, so that's our equation for y. Okay, so a is just the slope. a equals the slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x1 minus, or x2 minus x1, which equals 766.8 equals the intercept, which is minus 726. Point six. We say little b is equal to 10 raised to that power, so very close to zero. Just 10 to the minus 726.6. Very small number. And then that's the answer. Y equals we have we have figured out what, what A is and what B is. And so now we have the answer to that equation. All right, that is it for this problem. Sorry, it was a little long. Um, if I made any errors, let me know. Put it in the comments. Um, if you have any um, questions that you need help with from this book, I can look into it and see if I can help out. Um, just um, post it in the comments and, and I'll address those um, or I'll make a new video about it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.